What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's your guy Darian, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. In this channel we talk about looking good and smelling great. So if those two things sound of interest to you, then I recommend clicking on the subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and click on the bell icon as well, that way you get notified every time I release new content on the channel. Now YouTube has done something different here over the last few months, so you're gonna have to hit, when you hit the bell icon, not only do you have to click the bell, but there is a word all A-L-L -L, that you have to click to make sure that you do get those notifications. So guys, on today's video, I'm going to be giving a full review of one of my absolute favorite fragrances in my collection. I can sincerely say uh, if I could only keep 10 fragrances for the rest of my life, I am confident this will be one of the fragrances that I would keep because I really enjoy this fragrance that much. The fragrance I'm referring to is the fragrance Oud Wood. And this fragrance was from Tom Ford's private collection. Uh, I think it was preceded by um, Tuscan Leather and Tobacco Vanille, which was two really, really popular scents from the private blend collection. And then came along Oud Wood. And it has now joined those two fragrances, in my opinion, as three of the most popular private blend fragrances in the entire private blend collection. So I'm gonna be talking about that fragrance and giving a review on that today. But I also want you guys to stick around to the end of the video because I'm gonna tell you uh, some things that you can do to make your fragrance last all day long. So if that sounds interesting to you, you already know the routine, keep it locked right here because we're about to get into it. Alright guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's go ahead and jump right into the review of Tom Ford's Oud Wood. This fragrance was released in the year of 2007. Uh, again, as a part of the private blend uh, collection there for Tom Ford. And it comes in two sizes, which is the 50 mil uh, bottle and also the 100 mil. Now, the one that I have here is the 100 milliliter size, which is this right here. And if you guys have seen me talk about this fragrance before, I used to have the 50 ml bottle, but as I told you, this is one of my absolute favorite scents, so I've already run through that 50 ml bottle and had to go ahead and get the big guy this time, the 100 ml. Now, as it pertains to packaging, uh, this is the <clears throat> box that Tom Ford Private Blend Fragrances come in. And typically you just take this top off and the fragrance will rest in the uh, bottom of it just like that so it gives you a nice nice box to put it in a really nice presentation if you want to keep it in the at least the bottom portion uh, of the box then that will be something that that's very very nice touch there very uh, nice little addition there to have the box there where you can just kind of slide it in and make it a little bit easier <clears throat> to stand up and display but that's the full packaging and presentation on Tom Ford's Oud wood. I want to give myself a fresh spritz of oud wood. We're going to talk a little bit more about what this actually smells like. Go. All right, so right off the bat, uh, what I get from this fragrance, I will say this it is a very, very woody uh, fragrance. Uh, you get very very like a smoky uh, woody accord that you get in this and that's because this fragrance has the use of cedar wood sandalwood but it also has birch tar and of course uh, that birch tar note is very very popular from the fragrance of course of Ventus. Birch tar is a very very popular note and as you know it gives off a smoky vibe that's why people talk about a Ventus being smoky uh, it really comes from that birch tar but this also has vetiver. And a lot of times the way vetiver can be used, it can kind of give a very earthy, but sometimes slightly smoky vibe as well. So you get a very, very smoky, uh, woody accord that is created from the use of those four notes. Again, vetiver, birch tar, sandalwood, as well as cedarwood. Something that's very prominent to me in this fragrance is the sweetness right so you have sweetness that is provided by the use of vanilla and tonka bean and i really really love 
uh, tonka bean in fragrances because again it provides that sweetness and in this fragrance what it helps to do is the agarwood note which is the oud it really helps to give some balance to the scent i'm not really a lover of fragrances that use the note of oud and it comes off medicinal or animalic uh, a lot of times those aren't really fragrances i tend to reach for uh, but again the tonka bean and the vanilla in this fragrance really works to kind of tone down uh, that oud note so it, it comes off a so it comes across as a lighter uh, oud, smooth and sweet. And from the top, I really get, I pick up the tonka bean. Uh, you know, it listed tonka bean as a base note, but I, again, immediately when I spray this, I pick up the tonka bean. And again, it really works as like a, a agent just to kind of keep the fragrance sweet and smooth and never enters into that uh, animalic or medicinal category. And that's one of the things I really, really love about this scent. The way all notes just really work and blend together to create a very sexy and masculine scent that's really, really signature scent worthy and you can wear this scent year round. So as I just indicated guys, as it relates to the seasons that you can wear this really, like I said, you can wear this anytime. So any season, whether that be summer, spring, fall, winter, I really feel like you can get away with wearing this scent. If I had to choose a season that I think is better for, I would probably say the fall. Um, but again, there's no restrictions on this one because of the way uh, the scent DNA of it, the way it's composed, you can really wear this year round. Like I said, it's signature scent worthy. So get it, enjoy it, and wear it. I highly recommend the scent. Now, as it comes to pricing and size, again, it comes in a 50 ml bottle that retails for $240. And then you have the 100 mill bottle that retails for $325. Of course, that is if you are buying it full retail, there are other places, uh, discounted sites that you can get a better price on this um, on. If I can find some, I'll link them in the description box. But guys, like I said, it's one of my top five cents in my collection. And I personally highly, highly, highly recommend it. Again, you know, if you want to sample it first, if you've never smelled it, I always recommend that. But again, if you have been following my channel for a while and you dig my taste in fragrances, then you probably can vibe with what I'm saying. Pretty safe to say that you may really enjoy Tom Ford's Oud Wood. Hands down, it is one of my most complimented fragrances in my entire collection, in the private blend collection for me, easily. But again, in my entire collection, this is one of the most complimented fragrances in my entire collection is definitely in the top five. Maybe I do like an all time uh, most complimented fragrances so you can kind of see where this falls, but I'm sure it'll be in the top five. So guys, in the opening of this video, I talked to you and told you I was gonna give you some tips how you can smell great all day long. How can you really increase the longevity of your fragrances and make it last more than the typical six to eight hour time frame that you normally get from fragrances? Well. I have a few tips for you. When I did my video about how you apply fragrances, I told you guys first, I use a very lightly scented lotion. Uh, again, because I don't want the lotion to interfere with the fragrance. So you don't want to wear something that, that's really heavily, a really heavily scented lotion because then it starts to really mix in with the fragrance and again, it can really throw off the, uh, the way the fragrance is supposed to smell and come across on your skin. So that's number one wear a lightly scented lotion. Now, especially I will say this with Tom Ford fragrances. Anytime there is a body spray that is available for in Tom Ford fragrances, I try to grab it. Here's a few right here that I have. Uh, this one is Noir Extreme, of course, which is one of my favorites. This is Tom Ford's Fabulous. <laughs> and then of course, the one we're talking about today, Oud wood this is the body spray now i'm gonna tell you how you do this because this one also comes with the daily moisturizer and guys i'm telling you man take care of yourself man take care of your body take care of your skin and uh so these products really help to increase the longevity of this scent now here's the thing with the moisturizer once i apply my regular uh moisturizer that i normally use i'll take this and what i normally do with this is i will get about two squirts of this in my hand and I really just rub it into my hands. I don't really put it anywhere else on my body. I really just rub it into my hands, right? 
So that's going to really, when I'm talking to folks and I'm kind of waving my hand or whatever the case may be, they're going to be able to pick up the scent even more because these moisturizers really smell exactly like the fragrance. So that's one way that you can kind of, a little trick that you can use to really make the scent stand out more. And again, with the body sprays, what I do with this, I do my normal spray routine with the fragrance, but I'm telling you right now, guys, you talk about longevity, these body sprays really increase the longevity of the fragrance. So with this body spray, I'll spray two sprays on my chest area before I put on my clothes. And then after I've applied the fragrance, so Oud Wood to me is a five sprayer. Like I told you before, one, two, three, four, and one on the clothes. So what I'll do in addition to that is I've already done two sprays of this on my body. I'll just go three, four sprays of this on my clothes as well because there's not really any oil in this, so it's not gonna stain your clothes. But what it does is, whereas this is an EDP uh, concentrated uh, scent, and sometimes it can really start to stick close to the skin after about that two hour mark, these body sprays really project for a long time. You get really like four or five good hours where this stuff really just projects and it really sticks around for about eight hours on your clothing. So this is how you can really increase the longevity and make your fragrances last all day long. Use the body products that come with a lot of these fragrances, especially I can speak for the Tom Ford Private Blend Collection because they really, really enhance the fragrance and help you get better longevity out of your fragrances. Right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. That's my time today. I hope you enjoyed this review on the fragrance Oud Wood, and I hope you enjoyed the tip that I gave you on how you can get better longevity out of some of your fragrances. I always appreciate you guys tuning in and taking the time to watch these videos because of course I understand you could have been doing anything else in the world, didn't have to watch this video, but you did take the time out to watch it. And for your support, I sincerely appreciate that. Now don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and remember to share these videos out to some other folks that you think could use this information or find me entertaining because I'm your main man, Darren, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I enjoy looking good and smelling amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.